pollinate from mostly green. Uh, so, got a little fungus in the front yard um, on the uh, freshly overseeded area. Sorry about the noise, a lot of wind here today, which I know is not the uh, ideal situation for um, spreading, uh, spreading granular, especially lightweight granular, but uh, I gotta do it, gotta get it done. So, um, I'm gonna put down a, uh, an application of um, uh, Headway G uh, uh, fungicide. It's a, uh, a Zoxy, Strobin, and uh, Propiconazole uh, combination. I'm gonna put it down uh, a little on the lighter side at uh, two pounds per thousand square feet. And um, hopefully it's gonna knock out my uh, newly uh, established fungus, uh, fungus problem. Um, it's uh, a little, little disconcerting. Uh, I've been working so hard and uh, trying to get this, uh, these grass seeds up. Um, and like I said in previous videos, one day it's 70 degrees and cloudy, the next day it's 90 degrees, 95 degrees, and just blazing hot and the sun's beating down on it. And it's just been really hard to get the watering uh, right. Um, you know, I go out here some days when it's real warm and the ground is just like dust. And then I come out here on other days where it's 70 degrees and it's saturated. Um, so trying to keep up with the, uh, keep the watering right is has been uh, just very difficult. So nonetheless, uh, too much water. Uh, I stopped watering about two days, three days ago. Uh, I cut it down to once in the morning and then we got a huge rainstorm, dropped about an inch of water, and uh, and then it was cloudy and cool the last two days, and uh, there's like a 30, 40% chance of rain today. So it just didn't dry out, and uh, I ended up with some fungus. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take care of that in uh, just a couple minutes. So um, it's, this, this is group three and 11 fungicide, again with this oxystrobin and uh, propiconazole. Um, the, uh, the prescribed amount is anywhere between two and, uh, well, depending on the, uh, target disease, it's two to, uh, almost, almost four, uh, pounds per thousand. I'm going to put it down at the, um, at two pounds per thousand and then maybe do another application in 14 days, um, and see, uh, see what happens. Hopefully, uh, I get my my new seedlings up and uh, within that time and this is safe for uh, for newly uh, newly laid seeds or uh, new germination um, sod whatever it is um, you can you can put this down on it um, so let's get started I got my 30 pound bag and um, it's uh, since it's two pounds per thousand I'm gonna put down about seven I'm gonna cover about seven thousand square feet so I'm gonna put down 14 pounds and I'm just gonna eyeball this because honestly I can't find my scale. Uh, when we moved, I packed my scale away and I have no idea where it is. So I'm gonna uh, eyeball it about half of the bag into the uh, Headway 2150 and uh, I'm gonna start it out. I'm gonna take a look at the granules first. If they're really small, I'll probably start out around at around an 11 on the uh, on the earthway spreader and um, see what see see how it's coming out and uh, maybe go over it twice if it's coming out uh, lightly or lightly enough that I can get two runs with it so uh, let's uh, let's dump some uh, some fungicide Um, like a uh, extra green uh, size prill. So we'll dump half of this in. If I can get half of it out.
think that should be about half somewhere around there. Now pull a little bit more. This bag is kind of odd. It's got the partitions in it. You got some that are high, some that are full. So. calculations uh, have turned out to be just about right just about perfect um, it uh, ran out just at the very end uh, got one more pass through the areas where most of the uh, the fungus was or is uh, so I got two two passes through that uh, put a little extra down the setting on the uh, on the 2150 was was good it was uh i think i put it out set it at 11 and uh worked out perfectly so i got half of my bag half of my 30 pound bag down over about 8,700 ish square feet and um we'll see what happens so stay tuned thanks for watching i appreciate if you would subscribe and like the video and uh We'll catch you next time in the next video. Have a good one.